Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. 567 Workshops would like to present Social Security and your presenter today is Chris Miller. Chris Miller is a legacy wealth strategist, a number one best-selling author, ready for pre-tirement, three secrets for safe money and a fabulous future that we can and should embrace the money-making and protective strategies of the top 1%. She has counseled over 6,000 families, individuals, and businesses over the past 30 years and has never lost one dime of her clients' money in any market risk. As a safe money and estate planner, she has seen too many people lose their money or homes as a result of an unanticipated health crisis and catastrophic bills. Further, she says that too many people plan to fail properly for the future, lacking correctly prepared legal documents, useful financial plans, or a proper support system. She will share tips with you on this call to help you dial in a safe and fabulous future. Get ready to take notes and enjoy our presenter for today, Chris Miller. Welcome everybody to Create Income You'll Never Outlive. I'm Chris Miller and I'm really glad that you're joining me today. And today, we're going to talk about a whole lot of things that will help you take your Social Security, when you're going to take your Social Security, and the timing of it. But first of all, I wanted to talk about a few things that I wanted you to know about, a little bit of housekeeping, right? I'm offering as a gift for you guys being on my presentation today, my number one best-selling book, Ready for Pre-Tirement, Three Secrets for safe money and a fabulous future. So I'm really excited for you to read this because there's a lot about what I'm talking in here and there's some actual charts in the end that will be able to help you organize and get everything going for you. Now we're gonna talk about a whole lot today and just want you to know that everything that we're talking about is the 10,000 mile view. We can't get into a lot of personal details, but I will be offering a complimentary financial fitness strategy session for you. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But what I want to talk about right now is having a plan, right? And these are what we're going to talk about. Having the plan, how to maximize your Social Security, the best time to take it, uh, what's hybrid retirement, protection of assets from from inflation and the taxes, uh, how to create income that you're never going to outlive. And there, there are a number of things that's going to affect your Social Security that you may not be aware of that I want to talk to you about. So take notes and stay tuned. We're going to get going here. Now, everybody, you're going to be able to Hop on the phone with me for a 20-minute financial fitness strategy session like I just mentioned. And what we're going to do is create a customized plan for you about everything I'm talking about. Everybody's got a different setup. So I really can't offer the same things to everybody because it's going to be different for you and where you're at in your retirement or in your planning. So the financial fitness strategy, there's a little box that's going to be popping up. Make sure you get your name in there because a lot of people are going to want to talk to me and we'll be able to go over all the different things about social security, when you take it, and all the things that are going to affect you. Now, this is going to surprise you. A lot of people think, well, I thought this was just social security. It's a lot more than Social Security. It's all the factors that you should be able to mitigate and understand on how it's going to happen. But I'll never forget, you know, and this is really what charges me is my own family. And one day my mom came up to me and she had this piece of paper in her hand and she said, honey, and she had the tears in her eyes. I want you to share this with your with your clients. When I looked at it, it was a bill from Stanford Hospital for five days of chemo. What does that have to do with Social Security? Wait and watch. Five days of chemo, guess how much? $90,000, okay? Five days a month for a year, do the math. A million dollars is not a lot of money. If you think you're gonna self-insure 
And I have a lot of high-end clients that think, well, I have millions of dollars. I can self-insure. There are a lot of factors that are going to be able to stop you from getting that income that you'll never outlive. Because you'll realize when you retire, the things that's really important to you is what they call longevity credits, meaning that income that's going to last you for life. It isn't how much money you have, it's how is that money going to pay you for the rest of your life when you're not working, right? When you actually have a life without work. Now, I've been very blessed and I've been in practice for over 30 years. I have over 6,000 clients and no one on my watch has ever lost a dime in any market risk. So I'm very proud of being able to share that with, with people. And, and it's a specialty. It's safe money strategies. It isn't like your normal kind of planning where you're gambling. I'm a legacy wealth strategist. So I'm looking at a number of things at once, not just one thing. And my mission is to help you protect your assets to receive, receive as much as you can and live your dreams. So I say healthy money, meaning your money needs to be healthy so it will last for your longevity, which gives you happy life, healthy money, happy life. So we're going to talk about financial freedom. And when we talk about all these different things, what it's going to do when you get it all together, is will give you an estate of mind. When you put everything together, it gives you peace of mind. All your affairs are in order. You'd be surprised how much people worry about these things. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of things that are changing really fast before our eyes just in the last few months. And there's a lot of layers of retirement that we're going to have to look. So, you know, I want you to have the expectations of what we're talking about, navigating about what it, what if and what now and the three-legged stool and all the things of the taxes and how it will impact you. But it's not really, you know, when I say three secrets for safe money and a fabulous future, it's not that they're secret. It's just that nobody's talking about this. So we're going to go through these three layers of the what if and what in. And, and I got to tell you, I don't know about, you know, that a lot of people talk about safe money. Most people think of when they're, they're putting their money in their 401k or, or the stock market, they don't realize what happens. And what happened in my practice, this is what got me going. And I started in the, in the 90s, in the early 90s. And when I lost money in my account, and I was doing what everybody else was doing. I was putting money in the stock market. I realized, wait a minute here. There is something not right about this. I'm not supposed to lose money. I'm a planner. So what it did, it caused me to research and to dive deeper than the things that I was being told to sell. Because honestly, I could not look you in the eyes and say, oh, you need to buy this stock. But I don't want it. I can't do that. So I own what I sell. That's it then I'm clear because I believe in what I'm doing and I'm happy to share it. It's my joy. So I'm excited to share these things. But the biggest thing I want you to come away with is obviously that you're in the right place right now. And these topics are really important to you. The navigation through this uncertainty, the income so you can make sure your money is going to last you for life and more. And the taxes, how are you going to navigate through these humongous taxes that will be hitting us? That's right. So here are the three questions that you want to ask yourself. How will the market losses affect your savings? Are you paying unnecessary taxes on your investments? Are you paying too much state and federal income tax? And are your assets protected if you need long-term care? The cost of not preparing is catastrophic. So ask the question here, and you can put this in the chat. I want you to go ahead and put any any questions you have in the chat. We'll probably catch up with you on the call at the Financial Fitness Strategy. And again, you'll be seeing a little sign pop in there. for If you don't think you'll be able to make it through this presentation, go ahead and sign up now, because like I said, a lot of people want to talk to me. But the, the important question is, do you want to protect your estate from losses, taxes, and long-term care? 
yes. And you have to be affirmative. You have to raise your hand to this. So there are a lot of dangers that are, that are, that are hidden. So be mindful. Be ever vigilant. You know, I don't want you to suffer the problems that many, 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 many Americans are going through right now. And AARP did a survey. Actually, 69% of people are more worried about running out of money than they are death. Okay, so that says something. Don't let the dangers of the financial world surprise you. What's the first alligator? Wall Street. Ah, okay. And, and it's lurking, right? One day it's up, one day it's down. And this is, as I begin to tell you the story, what happened to me. My first 10 year of practice back in 91, 92, interest rates were 12, 14, 16. You could have money in the bank. And my clients were living off of their interest, off of the money from a bank. Can you believe that, right? Now you can get 0 0.05 at a bank. But back then, that's how it was. And everybody was booming right along till there was a crash. It was in the end, about 1997. And what I saw happen, I saw actual shift. So in the first 10 years, everybody was doing great. The next 10 years after that crash, then we had another one coming in the year 2000 and, you know, 2001 and all that era. People were losing their pensions. People were losing their money in the stock market. And it shifted. It was catastrophic. And, and really what, what happened was the uncertainty that happened with people really, really caused people to panic. And because of that, what happened was they ended up losing a lot of money and they didn't have enough money to retire. So what I want to do is go forward with you and you can see the, the, my, the market is cycling right? This is the uncertainty of the market. And, you know, I love this one because, you know, advisors in my office, they showed me this chart and you can see the similarity between 1929 and 2020. 2020, right? Here we are. We're 2021, but it's the same thing. And it is coming again. Everybody knows it. Nobody knows exactly when. So you can see that what I saw when this happens, and if you're retiring, this is a stock market. So you're gonna get retired. It's like a roulette wheel. Will it be up or will it be down when you retire? And that's what got me thinking about safe money strategies. So, you know, the Black Tuesday, the crash, what they say, the Black Tuesday in 1929, and then five months of, you know, some recovery, and then all of a sudden, boom, the Great Depression. Well, you can see that see right here on March 9th was not a good day in 2020. We lost a lot of money in the bank, in the market. And then it starts to rally back up. Now, people always talk about what do Americans learn from history? Hmm, I'm not sure if we're learning anything right now, right? Unfortunately, we don't. We don't really learn a lot from our history. And it has a way of repeating itself, which it is again. So if, Mark, if the market in history has a way of repeating itself, what are we doing proactively to make sure this does not happen again? You want to be safe. You don't ever want to lose a dime, not one dime in any market risk. That's why I can look you in the eyes and say, no one on my watch, thousands of people has ever lost one penny, one dime in any market risk. So it's like a casino. It's like a roulette wheel. The stock market is like a roulette wheel. And as I said, it depends. It's going to be up or down when you retire. But there is a way around that crazy market. What's the name of the ship? Now, you probably, everybody knows, right? You go ahead and put it in the chat just for fun. I think we all know. They even made a movie about it. But why do we know the name? You know, it's a lot of ships sunk. But... 1,500 people lost their lives that day. And it's interesting because there were major flaws that weren't known prior to the journey. 
Now, if you really dig back and look at the history, there were literally warnings about this. And they were so uh, arrogant that, and they were in a hurry. The captain needed to get there really fast because they wanted to break the records. And so there was an ice further in the ocean, way farther than before. You see, there were warnings, right? There was a bubble in 1999 before 20, the year 2000. There are warnings. We're getting warnings now. Do you hear me? It's similar. We're right there again. Now, have there been any warnings recently? I really want you to pay attention. Even in the last, even since January, right? Look at the warnings that we have. And it can't go on like this forever. It is so volatile. And especially raising taxes, printing trillions and trillions of dollars. How long do you think this can go on without being backed by gold, right? It's just paper. And the bottom line is there is a market correction and there is going to be that shift. So here they are in the Titanic, unsinkable, and there was such an arrogance inside of there, it had a major flaw. There were no lifeboats. Yeah, well, there was a few for the rich, but the majority of people didn't get a lifeboat. And that's really what's going on now. Very few people have a lifeboat, lifeboat and they really don't know how to handle it. So what I'm going to show you are lifeboats, ways that you can manage to go through this so that you can survive and get out of the volatility and rock your retirement money. So can your money withstand another major correction? All of this has to do with your social security. And again, you want your client, you want, right, to be able to withstand any major downturn and if your answer is no, you can't, then listen, listen up, because I got some great things to share with you. Again, I'm giving away my book for free. I sell it on Amazon. It's a number one best-selling book. I'll put, be putting the link uh, closer to the end of the presentation. But I just want to bring something to a mind to your mind about a year ago. Could you have imagined a pandemic shutting down our economy for more than a year? None of us could. And the life changes that we've gone through, none of us could. So at the end of the day, we want to work out of this roller coaster that we're in. And even though there's this crazy volatility and pandemic, I want you to know there is light at the end of the tunnel. And there's a beautiful way that you can create income that you'll never outlive using your social security and your retirement planning. So let's look at the three-leg stool. And, you know, how many of you, go ahead in the chat and put your answer in the chat. How many of you have gone through Money 101 in school? I bet you're very few. When I do live events, I'm a national speaker. I go all over the country and I talk to large groups of people. Well, I used to before the pandemic. I'd have a lot, of, pretty much everybody in the crowd would raise their hand. Right. Nobody went and got Money 101 classes. So nobody really knows about money. What happens is you go to school, you learn how to make money, you get out of school, and what do you do? Make money. And most people give their money to somebody else to plan. What do they do? Most planners invest your money in risk, right? And that is a stock market really realizes you can lose your principal. That's a different kind of planning that I do. So now, how many of you have a pension? Go ahead, put it in the chat line if you have a pension. But what happened in 2008, if you recall, about 40% of the pensions went away. So a lot of one of the legs of the stool that we call about the three-legged stool is this is how you're gonna sit in retirement. There are three pillars that you need for retirement. One of them was pensions. Uh, that went a lot of way for a lot of people. And now 50, 40 to 50% of Americans have lost those pensions. And now, you know, like I said, social security, that is another leg of our retirement. 
the income. Now, we really don't know what's going to be there when we get there because a lot of laws are being changed really fast. So I don't want you to totally rely on your social security. I wanna show you some creative planning here. And the third is your personal savings, your, your 401ks, your, your retirement plans, your IRAs, your money markets. Now let's look at the three-legged stool, your social security, your pensions, your personal savings. But most people right now have a two-legged stool. And as I said, the pensions went away. 50% of Americans don't even have that. So you need a plan to protect your income resources. You can't leave all your money in risk. Oh, no. The next alligator. I don't want to look at this. This is really going to get all of us. These new taxes that are going to be coming to us now at the time of this recording are going to be devastating, honestly. And just to give you like an overall view, several years ago, I was invited to Washington, D.C. I'm a national speaker, and I spoke to the Government Financial Officers Association. These are the, they're, they're the, they're the ones that manage the billions and trillions of money. And I was giving a presentation, there's maybe two or 300 people there, and I was talking about the IRS code book. So this is a couple years old. I went into the IRS and I was talking about it, but I wanted to make sure I had my numbers right. And if you notice on the slide that there are 74, 75,000 pages in the IRS code book. I'm sure there's way more now. 870 tax laws. Now, do you think you might be missing something with all of those chapter headings? And content, 75,000 pages, I'm sure. There's a lot of very cool things that you can do to mitigate those taxes. And we have the politics and, and, then the, the, and Uncle Sam wants more. But the idea is to keep as much money as you can. Now, the four major taxes that you're going to be concerned about in your retirement are Social Security, capital gains, taxes on interest income, and taxes upon death equals problems, which means the money that you have that you're planning on is not worth as much as it is. In other words, say you have 100,000, you can add zeros to that. If you're in the 30%, 40% tax bracket, you only have 60 or 70, right? Leftover, thousands, millions, whatever zeros you're at, right? So let's look at this. How does Uncle Sam determine Social Security? If you're married and you make $33,000 and you're single and you make $25,000, they can calculate 50% from your Social Security. That's right. If you're still working, how many of you think you're still going to be working after your retirement age? Go ahead. Put it in the chat. You'd be shocked. So many people, they, they, they don't realize this. And and they don't realize that they're really not going to get what they think they're going to get when they're figuring out their social security and their retirement plan. See, it's a big picture. That's why I'm talking about all these different topics, that that's what relates to your social security. Now, if you're married, you make 44000 or you're single, you make thirty four. They can calculate and use 85%. doesn't mean they take 85%. They use that in the calculation to take more money from you. Oh, no. So your money is not worth what it is, really. We have other taxes, capital gains taxes, a lot of that's coming back. Uh, taxes, 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 right? And oh, remember this guy? Well, when I grew up, the first picture, that's what he used to look like, right? Mick Jagger. I'm sure he has his annuity still performing four decades later. But the point is, now he's at the point of having guaranteed income. So I'm going to ask you, what's more important, peace of mind or higher rate of return? And people get caught up in that. There's a little greed factor there. It's like gambling. You get on the table and, and I don't like gambling. I don't want to lose money. And it's hard to take it off when you're winning. And so that's kind of how people are in the market. So Look at this. This is how you want to plan your money. You want to make sure that it's safe. It's liquid. You can get at it without 
any risk. You have tax advantages, tax free or tax deferred, no probate, good returns without a risk, and you can protect your assets from catastrophic illness, illness, nursing homes, COVIDs, all those kinds of things, and achieve more gain without market risk. So I'm going to ask you again, do you want less tax and more money? Yes, raise your hand, affirm it, you do, you want that. And I'm going to remind you, you can put questions for me in the chat that when you hop on the phone and talk to me, I'll be able to answer it directly for you because some people have personal questions that I will not be able to answer on these kinds of presentations, but but I'm happy to share three decades with you. So anyway, when we look, we'll see social security and the big question is when, you know, some people think, oh, I'm gonna take it early because it's not gonna be there. That's not really the best way to think about it. Um, the stats are 96% of people are going to take Social Security at the wrong time. That's right, the wrong time. And what you want to do is take it at the right time. So that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about when you collect the, the benefits and determining your full retirement age. So full retirement age is the time that you're going to be able to collect 100% of your benefit, obviously, that's the most ideal time to do that. And, you know, a lot of people think that, um, as I said, it may not be there. Maybe I'll take it. Now, there's other reasons, which I'll get to, but go ahead and look at this chart of, over there. And that's going to give you, um, you know, the different times when you're going to be able to take Social Security. So for some reason, I think they're going to change all that. But that's what it is. That's the law right now. So it's important to have this table and you can see when it when your full retirement your FRA is going to be now determining your full retirement age and you can see that now the three main main strategies is start collecting before full retirement age and what is that going to do well full retirement age you can fill in the blanks right starting before your FRA is 62 and you basically are going to receive 30 percent less that's right 30 percent less than your fra and then the option two is to go ahead and collect your at your full retirement age like we talked about and then the third is collecting after your full retirement age check this out it is really going to be amazing because these benefits are increasing at 8% annually. Guess what? Social Security is a big annuity, government annuity, and it's paying 8%. That is your biggest nest egg. It's really quite amazing. And it would actually go up 32% through delayed retirement credits. So there's some very creative strategies, and this is all the way up to age 70. That's, that's as far as it goes, okay? So there are three things to consider. And knowing how, what about longevity? Obviously, if you have, a, if you have an illness or something that's going to affect your longevity, you take it early, okay? But what if I'm going to work? Then all these other restrictions that we need to dig into and look at, if longevity is a big deal, to me, it's a big deal. I'm going to live to 120. I want to make sure my income is going to last that long, right? And, and so we'll look at this and how, again, right? Do you want less tax or more money? Yes, less tax, more money, right? And type yes in the chat box. There's something about affirming this. It, it kind of makes it happen. So the impact, now check this out, the impact this is 2006, that uh, of 66% of every dollar goes to pay for four things. And we got Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare, and the national debt. Yikes. So by two, 2022, next year, 92% of every dollar we give the government is gone for those four programs. And... What's going to happen is that leaves eight cents. That's right, eight cents. 
<laughs> for of every dollar left for all these other things that they're telling us they're going to do. Now, no one ever runs for government and says, hey, let's cut your benefits. Give me 30% of that Social Security check back and I'll work for you. No, that's not what they say at all. They promise you benefits and programs they don't have money for. And they're printing the money, which is another problem that we'll talk about. So eight cents will pay for all of these programs and the new programs that are coming up. Now, we're balancing between the national debt versus the income. Check out the national debt clock. You can go online. This is actually an old slide. I can't keep, I can't keep it live because it keeps changing, but you can see. I think we're in the 40s now. It's crazy. So that affects your Social Security. Now, I'm going to give you three decades here. This is the PhD of money. You don't have to do what I do to learn all this. I'm going to just tell you right now. There's only going to be two places your money is going to be when you retire. It's either going to be taxable or tax-free. So you realize that basically all your assets, your stocks, your mutual funds, your bonds, your IRAs, your 401ks, your 403Bs, all of those are taxable. What do you have left that's tax-free? Well, we have muni bonds. Now, that used to be in the 90s when I started the way to go. People were living off their muni bonds. They were really good. But now most people really don't want to invest in bankrupt cities like San Bernardino or Los Angeles or et cetera, right? Roth IRAs. Roth IRAs were great. But the problem is they're invested in risk and they're limited. So if you make $100,000 as an individual or 160 as a family, you're not allowed to get them. And they're, they're allowed in limited. I mean, you're limited to what you can put in. So that's really not the way to go. And they're at risk, meaning the, the funds that those Roth IRAs are put in are risk. They go up and down. So let me ask you this. Go ahead and put it in the chat. Do you think taxes in the future will be higher or lower? I think I could hear everybody. Everybody's answering. So this thing is so exciting to me. And I'm going to just be straight up with you. I found out in my late 50s. Now, that's pretty incredible because I have to study money every year. I have to keep my continuing education credits up. And I'm always studying money. But this was something that I had to really dig into to find tax-free, an IRA reboot. Let me tell you about this, because I just did this actually a couple years ago in my sixth decade. So you can do it, but you just have to put more. So if you can start younger, I'm telling you, everything, very transparent about it all. So there's a problem with your IRA. It's not worth as much as you think it is. Hmm. So when you retire, that IRA is owed at ordinary taxes. So 40%, just use 100,000, right? Easy math. It's really going to only be 60,000. See what I'm saying? But there's something called the IRA reboot. This allows you to convert your IRA into a tax-free vehicle with no out-of-pocket costs. Seriously, these things are incredible. What it does is it takes your, your qualified money that you're going to have to pay all those taxes and it's going to reboot it. It's going to turn, we're using a million of taxable money into tax-free money. Let me tell you how it works. So you're going to systematically transfer your IRA into cash accumulated life insurance. Now, most people think of life insurance like I give money for a death benefit. This is called hybrid, investable life insurance. That means you can use the death benefit for life. That's right. You can create tax-free income from an accelerated death benefit that will pay you for life. How does it work? Will you systematically transfer your IRA over three to five, 10 years into the life insurance. And as you're putting the money in there, 
taxes will be owed. We can literally go into the death benefit. This is your death benefit. Take the money from the death benefit, pay the taxes. That means that full million or 100,000 will be able to be invested in the investable life insurance, universal life that is performed at six to 9% in the last 30 years. And by the way, I only work with eight companies. Why? Because I don't depend on the government. And when things get bumpy, these companies have major amounts of money. They've been through the Great Depression. They're like old, 100-year-old companies. Every $100 you have with an insurance company, they have 125 to 135 to your 100. So they're very, very safe. And they've been around for a long time. That's pretty much why I have all my retirement in investable life insurance and annuities, safe money strategies. That's how I've done it. And I've been very successful for 30 years. So this is a very, very cool way. And the value of it, it really can reduce your taxes a third to a half in the conversion. And get what? This is the neatest part. You can literally create tax-free income for life. That's right. I had a kid. He was 38. He put in $500 a month. And at his retirement, he was set to receive eighty dollars to $100,000 a year for life, tax-free. That's right. You heard me right. Tax-free. And guess what? There's also long-term care, catastrophic illness protection, uh, chronic illness. God forbid you had one of the big C's, a corona or a cancer or something. You can literally take a lump sum of the money and tax-free and do what you will with it. There's lots of benefits. The only issue is you have to have good health. Now you can there are because the better health you have, the less of the cost insurance. But don't let that hinder you because you may think your health isn't good, but it may be good enough. So we have to do underwriting on this, but it's so worth it that I'll do it for people without any money because it really is the best thing that people can get. Well, this one is really hard. Now, how does that affect my social security? Like I told you at the beginning of this talk was when my mommy shared that bill from Stanford Hospital about five days of chemo for, for $90,000. A million dollars is not a lot of money. Now, my daddy was very successful. He actually went to, was taught by Einstein at Caltech. And he's a genius. And he was, he was very successful and had multi-millions. So thank God my parents had the money. My family was kind of the nightmare in my business because my daddy was stubborn and he didn't really listen to me. When my mom got cancer, she had it for 10 years and there was a little period in like year three where it kind of went away. I said, hey, dad, might be a good idea to get some long-term care for mom. Oh, we're never going to a nursing home. Never, never, never. And I'm like, okay. I never pushed anything. You know, he, he, he really you know, knew what he was doing. He just never was taught about catastrophic illness. And none of us are. None, none of us realize that your social security is not going to protect you. You've got to plan this out, you guys. Third and fourth quarter life. These are things like when you're 20, it's hard to imagine what it's like when you're 40. When you're 40, what's it like when you're 60? When you're 60, what's it like when you're 80? And when you're 80, what's it like when you're 100? These are the things you want to think about. Broaden your mind plan for longevity. But unfortunately, my mom's story inspired me to help people. That's how I can sit here and share it with you without crying. Because when I'm camera's not on, it's, it's a very hard story to share. But she empowered me to do it. And so that's how I can make a bad thing good to show you guys what not to do. So that was one year. Her chemo was one year that you know, 900000 a million dollars. That included doctors, therapies, all drugs, all the other things that were going on for her. Catastrophic illness can wipe people's states out. And that's what I saw in my second decade of my business. People would come in, 
they start their retirement plan, they'll be offended by this, in their 60s. Nobody told them that they needed to start in their 20s and 30s, but they started in their 60s. And the three main things that I saw, so what I talk about in my number one best-selling book, Ready for Pre-Retirement, three secrets for safe money and a fabulous future. Why are they secret? Nobody talks about it. What's missing? And I have, I have a client that has $44 million. He didn't have a living trust. Now, I had clients that would lose their estate when a spouse went into a nursing home. I have clients that lost 40% or more of their pensions, 60, 80% during 2008, during year 2000. I've seen quite a few crashes. So those are the three things that I like to stress on to enforce and uplift your social security get the best that you can. And this, these are facts. Seven out of 10, this is before the pandemic, seven out of 10 people are going to need long-term care. Right. And three out of 100 are going to have fire, right? I live in California. We're going to have a fire. I hope you all have fire insurance. There's a lot of fires going on and going to go on, right? So everybody's got fire insurance. What, 18 out of 100 have auto insurance. Well, it's a law in California. You got to have auto insurance, right? Now, how many of you have long-term care? And when I do presentations, live presentations, and you can invite me to any group, I'm happy to share, is most of those people don't have a plan. Occasionally, they may get a long-term plan through their business or the, that they worked with, the company, corporation, but a lot of those are real flimsy. So that's what we evaluate when we do a financial fitness strategy. And this is a good time to sign up. Make sure you'll see the sign in there. It'll pop up, boop, and go ahead and put your name in there. Make sure you sign up. I follow up right away. Make sure you put it on your calendar. I'm so shocked that people sign up and then they forget that they sign up. I know the world's busy, but I really am on point on following up with you to answer your questions. So it's really important. Okay. So again, this probate is what got me started. And when I started, I created a living trust. Now, the living trust is a legal document that's created to own and manage your estate. It avoids probate. It avoids conservatorship. It avoids guardianship. And here's something that everybody forget. They forget, basically, that mom and dad go out to dinner. Who's going to take care of the kids? They have no contingency plan for their minor children. And we're living in crazy times. You don't have to be 100 years old to pass away. You could go at any age. So these are very important documents to have. Even if you don't have any money, it's really important to have a power of attorney for financial and health. These are very important documents to have. So what happens after your death? Fortunately, there are strategies that you can use that will enable you to avoid probate. So what's an estate? Basically, that's everything you own, right? All your assets are part of your estate. Now, they changed the law, but guess what? They're going to change it again. You know, the estate tax used to be a million dollars. Okay? Then they brought it back up. And right now, it's 11.2 per person, 22.4 uh, per married couple. But guess what? In 2025, it's going to change and more than likely it'll change before that with all the new laws that are being passed. So what you want to be aware of is you want to make sure that you have a living trust that's going to protect you from all of these different things. You're going to help to control the distribution after you pass away. So a living trust is not just an end of the life document. It helps you while you're alive. It gives you powers of attorney for financial, health care. You need those now. Don't wait till later. It'll minimize the fees and taxes that are imposed upon you, upon you, and it will totally avoid probate. Now, living trusts 
have a provision in there. If you become incapacitated, you'll be able to point somebody that will be able to help you. And I'll tell you, two thirds of all the matters that go through probate are for conservatorship. Why? Because nobody planned. Nobody set up their living trust. And I'm really proud. I'm one of the first people in Southern California to give living trust workshops back 1991. I was giving a workshop between what's a will, what's a trust. And nobody knew. These things have been around since the Middle Ages, but only the rich people knew about them. It was my goal to make sure that everybody would find out and to break the market on the price. So I, back then, 30 years ago, was giving away trust. I mean, people were cr crowding the office because I offered the same trust that people charge $5,000 for at reasonable prices. And, and I'll be happy to share that information when we hop on the phone. This all affects your social security. All of this is so important for you to have. And something that is notable is that most people don't realize that if you don't have this, these things, this can affect your income stream. So in these last three decades, I've prepared over 6,000, probably getting close to seven by now, living trust, revocable living trust. And I've never had one problem. That's right. Not one problem. They work great. So the next alligator, you remember, we're trying to swim across the other side of the swimming pool and all these alligators are attacking us. And oh, this one, I have one of those. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> we all have one. I don't know where you keep yours. Maybe it's under your bed. It's in the closet, in the garage, but we all have a procrastination alligator. What's the goal? Retire rich, retire stress-free. That's the goal financial peace of mind. And that's my joy. That's what I love to share with people, all the blessings that I've been given. So what are you waiting for? More time? Ha. Have you noticed how, to, how it's speeding up? How about more money? Yeah, right. How about less stress? I don't think so. When do you think that's going to happen? Don't procrastinate this. Seriously, the little box is there for you to sign up for a complimentary financial fitness strategy session. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you'll be seeing the sign pop through this, this program. I'm giving you a giveaway, a next chapter checklist. That's also included, it's no charge. Just click the link. You'll be able to check the next chapter checklist and that'll show you things that you need to do. Again, inside of my book, you'll in the back, there's actual graphs and things that's going to help you organize your what to do. But there's nothing um, like talking to the author of the book. So I'm excited to talk to you on the financial fitness exam. Like I said, why don't people, why do people procrastinate? It's uncomfortable. I don't want to talk to anybody. You can't trust anybody, right? And I don't want to upset my family. My husband always banked at Bank of America. I don't ever want to leave there. People get emotionally attached to their money. There's a lot of emotion around it. So there is a cure for procrastination. Yes, to avoid procrastination. So where do we go from here? Again, I'm offering the cure, right? The financial fitness strategy session. We're going to talk about how to maximize your social security. How can you take the income streams that you have and access those so that you can push your social security further into the future to get more? How can you take the assets that you have and make sure they're set safe from the next market crash? How can you make sure that you have all the right legal documents that are going to protect you from the pandemic, from from healthcare, from powers of attorney. If you become incapacitated, you can have someone take care of things for you so your, your life and your business can keep going. All of these are current. All of these are things that we need now. Don't wait, please. Don't be one of those thousands of people that came into my office in their 60s and started their plan. Now, if you're 60, that's okay. 
But I'm saying do it now. That's the idea. And, and the little link is below. You'll see the link to, to sign up. Also, put any questions and information in the chat. Some people have specific questions, and we're able to get information from a national specialist on everything that you need to know about when to take your Social Security and how to protect your assets. So the important question, there's that question again. Do you want to protect your assets from losses, taxes, and long-term care? Yes. Can I hear it? Yes, we do. So go ahead, sign up for the Financial Fitness Strategy Session. And what we do is we have a 20-minute call, and I'm going to ask you your age, your wealth, your goals, I'm going to answer any questions you might have, and then I'm going to see if I can even help you. Some people, I can't. Some people may not have any assets, right? And I can give you a few tips on things that you could start doing. So that's what we do the first time, and then I'll get your age, your health, your wealth, and all the details. Then I'm literally going to research all the things that I just talked about. I'm going to give you your own personal class. That's right. Guess what? There's no charge for this. I believe in it so much. How am I going to get paid? If you like what I show you, I get a commission one time. I'm with you for life. I'm not one of those planners. That's something I hate. They just sell you something and they're gone. I'm with you for life. You'll have access to me for life. You'll be able to call me with questions anytime, five years later. To me, that's really important. So I really, really like to give my clients full access. So the complimentary financial fitness strategy, 20 minutes on, I get the information, I do the research, we hop back on, and it's virtual. I will share my computer screen. I'll show you a plan that is customized for you. Then I'm going to send you everything, plus a little bit more, some things that I teach over at the college, what well, used to before the pandemic, and some classes I have on, on things. And I'll share all this information. Then you'll do your homework, read it, and you'll have questions for me when we hop back on and we'll go from there. Sound good? All right. Great. Okay. I know I've pulled a lot of information down here for you. And I'm excited to share it with you. Again, get my number one best-selling book. I'm selling it. I don't even know why I'm giving it away free because I really want to inspire you. There's a lot of decades of information that will help you. So download it, get it. Make sure you set up the time to hop on the phone with me for the financial fitness strategy session. And make sure you, you get the next chapter checklist. You know, I have thousands of happy happy clients. You know, I literally make trust for banks. I have many banks that refer people to me. I'm very proud of that because we do good work and everybody tells their friends, you know, I'm on the radio, I'm on the TV. I'm, I'm an expert. I'm a legacy wealth strategist. And, and my joy is to be able to share all of this great information with you. And by the way, I'm also a, a singing songwriter. I have number one few number one songs. And that's what I do when I'm not sharing healthy money. I, I sing praises to God. That's who I am. And, and that's why I have a real heart to helping people because it's really about sharing what you have and what goes around comes around. So it's a great working setup and it's my joy to share with you. Again, you can also visit my website, Healthy Money, Happy Life, read all about it. Click the link for Financial Fitness Strategy, get your free book, and get your next chapter checklist. I look forward to talking to y'all, and thank you so much for attending. God bless.